follow a cow? The priestess from the oracle said to follow a cow? A peculiar command, to be sure. But then the priestess is never wrong. She promised that great things would come to the person who follows her cow until it lays down to sleep, and then build a city on the spot. This person will be able to achieve something that four powerful men failed to achieve, and finally bring Europa back to Greece. The beautiful Europa was abducted years ago by a white bull, and has not been seen since. And thus, the priestess's bovine-centric prophecy came to an end. The cow did not choose a very good spot. She fell asleep a short distance from a hideous multi-headed serpent that purportedly belongs to Ares. The monster is always ravenously hungry and eats everything that comes near him. Building a city here won't be easy, but the promised reward is irresistible. here with a new episode of Zeus, Master of Olympus. So this video is going to be a tutorial on how to do a housing block. So let's begin first by creating the block. One more that way should do it. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> So before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead, create a new tiny block here, which is going to house my Agora and my um, different distribution things. There's that. And now a new road. In this game, roadblocks are your friends, so that's what I do now. One hundred people, so now what I can do is go and do the water fountain and the maintenance office. There we go, I do the roadblocks here to keep them from going this way. Oops. Let's go ahead and do that. They should go over the roadblock now. Yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to do the Doric columns along this way. There we go. So I've got the fields right there. What I'm going to do here is to create a new little block, but it's going to be an industrial block. Okay, there's that. I'm going to do a wheat farms along this way for food. I think three should be enough for now. Still some unemployed, so let's do a granary here. Like so. And then do another maintenance office here. There we 
we go. And one more along this way, like so. And that's a good little start for a new settlement. Okay, so you can see it's unemployed right there. What I can do is do a new um, let's do a carding shed because you need the um, fleece for this one. There we go. Should have done an Agora here, so let's do that real quick. Food vendor, I mean. There we go. In this part here, I'm going to do like the stuff you need. However, first let's do a palace. That way I can start collecting the taxes. There we go. Let's put up the roadblocks. Followed by the maintenance office. I'll put it on this side there. So it's almost finished. So once the food is there, the employee from the food vendor is going to go over and grab food. And then they'll distribute it out. And that means more people will come because the houses will be um, upgraded. So let's look at the industry there. You see it says 13 workers. I like to try and keep the storage things close to the vendors to keep it from running out of things easily and of course the things will also be nearby the industry parts as you can see new people are coming in I always do the bribe right here because you see I don't have any armies here yet Okay, now with it's being unemployed, I'll go ahead, go back to administration and do tax office. And then I'm going to do Doric uh, column to bring the appeal up for the neighborhood. Let's see what they need for this part. More culture, so. The easiest thing for culture is going to be the gymnasium because each of these, this one needs the college and podium and this one needs the drama school and theater. Gymnasium, you just need that thing. Okay, so let's do the column again, like so. Okay, see what, I think it's the appeal now. Yep, I thought so. So I'm going to give them a gazebo. Like so. Followed by the park. Like that. Okay, so that'll bring up the neighborhood appeal and more people coming in. 
Okay, so I need to do the storehouse now. So let's do that. In this one, you need to give seven things of fleece to a neighboring um, place. This part, Caledon. And the goal of this one is to get to a thousand people. Check on this part, 82. Okay. It keeps going up. Now it's 93. So I need to go ahead and get something else started. So let's do the dairy farms. And then we'll make uh, the cheese. There we go. Okay, he does. They do have this part, so let's do that. Add another um, I messed up there okay there we go let's do another right there like so and bring out the growers lodge There we go. So I'm going to set this to do not accept and bring in another storehouse here. That way it'll be close by. Let's do don't accept for olive oil because I need that to go to my settlement things over here. Okay, so we need another maintenance office there. Check on that. Still unemployed, so that's good. So I'm gonna wait until this empties out. Should be able to do it soon. And along this way, I'm going to do the olive press along with another maintenance office. You want to keep the uh, walkways pretty short for the uh, maintenance guys okay dispatch now that should be good for now okay let's see what I can do real quick let's do fleece vendor and the oil vendor while I'm at it Okay, let's see if I can do another wheat farm here. Gotta clear some land out first. There we go. I can go ahead and do the maintenance guy right there. And then let's do Auto press. See how much that gives me. Okay, one employee needed, so this will be good for now. 
as you can see where there's more families coming in and here I can go ahead and do another gazebo along this line oops there we go and then I'll do the ionic columns here and there we go let's go ahead and do a little bench here Five hundred people, so I still need five hundred more before I can um, go to the next part. Hygiene is deteriorating. Let's see if I can do the infirmary here somewhere. I should have done the tax office over there somewhere, but it's too late now. Okay, and try to bring up the appeal. You can check that by going to this button there. Somewhat appealing, it's not too bad. So here I need more culture venues. 40% is unemployed, so I can go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so let's actually clear this out. I can put a podium. I guess I didn't need to do that after all, but let's do a college on this side. Go back to the Doric columns. There we go. You can probably do the park along that side, like so. And there we go, you see it's upgrading. This side still needs to have the appeal, so let's do that real quick. Did it too much there. There we go. Oops. I spent a little too much, so but that's normal in this um in this one here. Okay, you see that the People need to um, get the food out again. And it should be the culture thing again. No appeal. So let's do some more columns. That should do it. Same for this side. Let's go ahead and do the new culture thing, which is the theater. And the drama school. That should help raise the, the appeal a little bit. We can place the gazebo there.
Let's go ahead and put the victory mon monuments here beside the palace. And there we go. Okay, let's do... Do that for now. Hope that helps. I'm not sure if it will or not. Normally it does, but... Yep. This one, let's do another. I messed up right there. Okay, there we go. Let's do the... Okay, I see what happened. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. For now. Okay, we're almost at the 1,000. So for the next one, I'm going to do another uh, block. There we go. And we won. Under your leadership, Thebes is beginning to thrive. Yet the multi-headed menace still plagues the land. And the city will never be truly great as long as it counts the monster as one of its residents. 